You should just shut the fuck up. <laughs> my god, dude. Ah, Smash Bros. Oh my fucking god. You ah, mean, Xenoblade. Stop. Ah, uh, Persona 5. I like more games besides okay, just that. Okay. All right, we gotta do, do this. You do the fucking intro. All right, uh, welcome back, guys. We are playing Final Fantasy VII with Marth over here, the the king of the Fire Emblems. Oh, that's <laughs> another one. <laughs> fucking Fire Emblem series. Oh, that's I really forgot. Good okay, too. sorry, sorry. No, 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 <laughs> sorry, no. Sorry. Just Smash stop. Rolls. No, we're fucking. Zeno I paused the episode. To you did knock that shit off. Man. I forgot. I we forgot. got a game to yeah, play. Yeah, right. Xenoblade. It's Persona Paul, just Vibe. Fucking, I'm Smash taking Rolls. the microphone away from you. Can we do you. this? No, I'm fucking. The microphone's staying over here with me. You can fucking do whatever you want. This is staying over here with me for this episode. Until you I until you calm the fuck <laughs> down. <laughs> Knock it off. Yeah, fire, Stop it. My Persona 5. Oh my okay. god. <laughs> Persona 5 isn't we even... Talk to, we there's talk other to. games in the Persona series. Right. Why do you keep saying Persona? Right. Oh my god. Uh, we gotta talk to each guy. Okay. So after you've talked to everybody, can you say this to them? Oh yeah. After you talk to everybody. Now what do I say? Um, um, you'll eventually go... Um, Nanaki, he won't want to talk for a while. Uh, Red Thirteen won't want to talk for a while. He keeps saying he keeps saying Anaki because he's a fucking idiot. But ignore can you him. Put this down? No, you don't get. You've lost microphone pivot just for the next half hour. Can you at least explain what's going on? Okay, they're talking about Biggs and Wedge and Jesse, and uh, I think those are all the dead people. Uh, they all died for the planet. They're actually dead. I swear they're not coming back. I promise you. I'm not even. I'm not even kidding. So they're wondering if it's even right to even continue the adventure if so many people are going to die I'm in the. Oh my god. <laughs> Could That's you, a great paraphrasing there, Marth. If you had interrupted me, I would have paraphrased it better, but now I don't know what's going on because you had to fucking interrupt me. You want to you go now? Oh, my God. What's going on now? Bar Barrett's getting a resolve check, and since I'm pretty sure he's at the end of the game, he's probably going to pass Roll it. Roll a d20 for resolve. That's not... <laughs> it was not a D&D &D <laughs> reference. I wasn't trying to make a D&D &D <laughs> reference. He brought it to D&D, &D, not me. That was all him. Why? You, I think you talked. Oh, I thought you talked to Kate Seth first. I already talked to him. Oh. You? Yeah. Okay. So Aerith's talking about how she has an existential crisis because there's nobody else in the world that can hey, relate to her. Word for you. Can relate. To, <laughs> can relate to her because all of the people who share her blood are now dead because it was really just her mother. But one day she might have kids and they'll probably share her blood. So I don't get what the fuck she's being all bitchy about. But she's the only central left on the planet, so she's having an existential crisis about it. Ooh. All right, that's it. Turn the cold shoulder there. All right, we talked to Tifa. Tifa's probably yeah, just gonna. I don't know if you do talk to Red Thirteen even. Though okay, again. if you talk to Red Thirteen, he doesn't. Oh, yeah. He doesn't say anything. He just tells you to fuck off. Uh, so Tifa's having remembrance by staring at a fire about all the nice things that used to happen in her life until she decided to, you know, join a terrorist group, and then uh, she asked Cloud about what happened five years ago, and uh, Tifa said she doesn't remember. I think I understand what's going hey, on. Hey, hey, say how weird it is that Kate said is still with us and we had literally one conversation with him. Israel said that he's an idiot who likes to smash his head against concrete wall. Like yeah, I did. <laughs> he's a fucking... Hi, Josh! <laughs> fucking hate you. All right. Uh, yeah, he said he was an idiot who likes to whine about random bullshit and likes to interrupt me even though he doesn't realize that he has, lo ah, he, he has lost the permission ah, to roll. talk into the microphone ah, for the rest of the episode. Yeah, he just is not going to stop. You see, he doesn't even want to play the game anymore. This is why we had a two-minute episode last time. Okay, you're just going to read because I don't feel like talking anymore. No. Red 13 used to have a family and now he doesn't and now he's sad. I paraphrased it. What about this? I just said that. You didn't say this. Okay, fine. His father, too, is also dead, and no, he's still sad. Anger. Who cares? <laughs> Sadness and anger go hand in hand. <laughs> How do you even pronounce that dude's name? Red 13? No, uh, my God. The, the grandfather guy. Uh, I don't know. He left mother for dead. Oh, the Gi tribe? Are you paraphrasing? Oh, yeah. Uh, he left his tribe. And, uh, yeah, the father left his tribe. And so, uh, Red 13 was all, I should probably go to Midgar and get experimented on. And so that's what he went and did. Oh, uh, damn. Okay, so we're about to go do a quick dungeon. One other person is going with us. Is Red 13 going? Okay, so we're going to take, we're going to take Tifa because we haven't fought with her that much lately. Oh, okay. And then I'm pretty sure her equipment's already all set up, but he's going to check anyway because he's a pussy bitch. 
He doesn't know. Ignore him. You probably can't even hear him, which is a good thing. Seriously, for the whole episode, you've lost microphone for the whole set. Fucking do your setup. I don't care. Yeah, it's the weapon I told you to buy because I told you you were taking Tifa with you. you did you, uh, I think you got, uh, Red 13 a new weapon too. I think I did. Two, which Silver Barrette. Ooh, that's yeah. Stone Cold Killer. I don't care. Just equip your shit and hurry up. I can't Look how close he is to a nice level. Oh. Did you see that? Red 13. I don't know, <laughs> you can't even see the meter. So, yeah. Why does he have an empty slot? Uh, yeah. He literally can do whatever he wants. I wonder how many, uh, skills we've missed. I feel like you get one skill in this dungeon. You can't go back in it after you complete it. Um, should we check? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna check to see if there's a skill in this, uh, dungeon that, uh, we might have missed. Or that we might miss, because I guess in this dungeon we're about to go into. Once you go into it, you can, uh, never go back into it. What's the name of the dungeon? Okay, I don't know... Uh, dungeon. You're so funny. Uh, it's a funny thing. Oh, I misspelled. Okay, there we go. Final Fantasy. God damn it. Okay. There we go. Final Fantasy 7. Alright, we're Googling it. Let's Google in right now. Uh, nothing, dude. It doesn't say anything about a dungeon. Northern Cave? No, no. Is that not it? No, no, the cave's the last cave. Oh, that's the last one. Okay. Um, uh, Red. I'm good, dog. Fuck. Red 13 uh, Dungeon uh, Final Fantasy 7 Should be able to, I think uh, Red 13's Dungeon Cosmo Canyon Alright Cosmic Cannon, Final Fantasy 7. Um. Alright, I'm looking right now to see if, uh. I'm looking. There is a weapon for, uh, Kate Sith in here, though, fair warning. There's also a gravity materia. Oh, we gotta get that. That's the big one. Oh, yeah. I, I remember most of the sequences from that. Um, yeah, use the manipulate to get the big guard enemy skill. Oh, already got that. Already have that so uh, inside of the forest outside there, uh, you can get, uh, find an enemy called the touch me and it has a frog, frog song, oh, uh, enemy frog. skill. And, uh, and then that's just the cave of ghee. That's it, right? Yeah. You can get uh, death sentence enemy skill from the Gee Spectre and the Sneaky Step. Got it? Yeah. Okay, so he got all that now. So he's, um, gonna... Just saving the top one? Uh, yes. Let me check the time. Hold on. I gotta check the time. I gotta swap over because I don't have two monitors on him. His place, because he's a little bitch, doesn't want to come to my place to record. Because he's scared of getting shot. Who cares, man? You should just get over it. I mean, what do you think? You're going to get stabbed? That can happen, but that probably won't happen unless no, I'm the one doing it. There it's, a dump. it's not that much of a... It's not that... It's not a dump. It's a nice house in a bad neighborhood, but There's it's still nice. Holes in your fucking I didn't put the bullet holes there. They were there when I moved in. <laughs> that does not negate the fact that they are present. It doesn't fuck off. There's one bullet hole left. Okay, I passed How's all the others. Door? My door, that's all me. That was not, uh... Yeah, there you go. That's just how I like opening my door. I like opening my door with a focus punch. And he thinks, oh no, that's fucking dumb. You put holes in your door. I'm like, whatever, the door's getting replaced soon anyways. All right, we're going down, so yeah, I'm gonna focus punch my door every time I feel like opening it. Dungeon time. Dungeon time. He keeps saying dungeon time like a retarded three-year-old. This video just got demonetized. <laughs> None of my videos are monetized, but if they ever do, this one won't be able to get monetized. Why is the cave shaped? That's a weird shaped cave. Looks like some weird flask. 
All right, so now that we're in here, he's gonna completely run past, and then you gotta run, try to get the enemy skill. I think that's the material you're looking for, the gravity material. I think so. It, I had to imagine so. It looks like it's break it open. Uh. Okay, we're not moving there yet. So that's how you uh, get to the exit, but that's not where we're going yet. Funny looking rock. We're gonna break it open, and that one's just gonna. Get us an enemy, and the enemy that we're fighting is... I think that's the guy that gives you the enemy skill. Pr press the left stick, and it will tell you what his name is. Y you can do it whenever. Yeah. No, the left stick. You can press it whenever you want. Yes, this is the enemy that gives it to you. Why do you keep turning it off, dude? You might as well just leave it on all the time. It tells you the enemy's health and everything. No, you don't. Look, if you just leave it there, never don't press the left stick again, and it will just stay up forever. And then whenever you go over an enemy, it'll show you its health. See? Well, not this instance, but you get the point. Is he taking that much damage per second? 49, 48, 47? What's happening? Oh. Well, I mean, it's probably best you don't let it happen. Uh, it's death sentence, yeah. On Cloud. He is skewer. You're so dumb. Whatever, Tifa doesn't need to live. He can just revive her immediately anyway. On Cloud, yes. Okay, there it is, death sentence. Uses it. Okay. And, uh, that does, that looks weird. But we got the enemy skill. And so now we're gonna run really quick before bad things really happen. Quick. No, never mind. Tifa's gonna die. He's an idiot. Everyone's gonna die in a minute. Do you want me to run? I feel like I should run. Unless Tifa just... Two seconds left. Two seconds left. That was real damn close to Tifa getting offed. Hey! Restore material leveled up. And uh, Red 13 leveled up as well. Alright, cool. That's the ability we're looking for. So now we just need to get that uh, gravity material and then we're all good. What's going on? Making a sandwich? He lost microphone privileges for this episode. No. Ah, yeah. oh, fire emblem. Fuck you. Fuck offs. Is there anything from this guy? Uh, no. I think the death sentence was the only one in here. What's the name of him? Oh wait, I think that is one of them, isn't it? Try it. Just manipulate him, just in case. Cause that name sounds familiar. Yeah, there's no one's gonna die. Isn't that so sweet though? You just make the enemy do whatever the fuck you want it to do. Yeah. It's kind of broken. Oh, yeah, so it's yeah he, he's the other enemy that had death sentence. That's right. He's triple attack on himself. I would use death sentence on himself, but whatever. It worked. It worked. It works out anyways. We don't have to wait for death sentence to kill him. Because uh, it's funnier. Alright. So we never just got to... We just got to find a way to get that uh, other material. I don't know. Why are you not running? I think it's just part of the background. It looks like some weird ghoul got impaled on a wall. Wasn't that the enemy? It's the same cave, dude. We got lucked out there. Preemptive attack! I would have gone with match or magic, but normal attack works too. Whatever you do, you. That's why I use match or magic. He's an idiot. You got 60 seconds. He, he's an idiot. Ignore him. You probably can't hear him, but still, just in case, ignore him. Yeah, it's not bad. Alright, cool. He said it was a cool looking animation. I don't know if you heard him. I hope not, because then yeah, this, this doesn't really do anything for me if you can hear him still. Xenoblade. Shut up. I swear to God, you better shut up. Fast trash, really, you should shut up, oh, though. Okay, cool. We're at the exit now. We didn't get that one material. I don't know what it was. It was blue. I bet it was not gravity blue. material? No, gravity's green. That was a green material up there. Blue. It was green. Go back. Go back. I guarantee it was. Go back. I guarantee it was green. Why are you so stuck in your ways? Because you're wrong about this. I promise. I thought you just lost your team members. Your team members ran ahead of you. That was way really funnier. Oh yeah, I can run for you. Hold on. I just gotta lean forward here. There we go. Okay. Oh, he's not poisoned anymore. 
you see it? Actually, I think I can go up and around on it. I think it's how you're supposed to get it. I guess not. I don't know how to get to it. I think it's later on you come back out. But just to show you the colors, since you're so into it. Light blue. That looks green to me. That's so light blue. That looks green to me. I, I'm not even kidding. That looks green. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. And that. And that. And that. That just looks green to me. Well, everything else it must be look even more green then, huh? I, I'm just saying it looks okay. green. Right, Maybe on. I'm colorblind. I don't know. Okay, you need to walk because if if you run you if you run you die instantly. Uh, by getting impaled in the face, and it looks it looks really cool because it, like you have a spike impaled to your mouth like in a like in a horror movie. It's really cool. You guys should just you know what I take that back. You guys should run like a motherfucker. Also, he really fucked up Tifa's limit break there, but whatever. He fucked up. He said he fucked up. He meant to do it better than that. Okay, he does a normal attack that does almost 500 damage, and he was too too scared to fight that fucking snake because he's a little bitch. But uh, whatever, he's just uh, gonna be a whiny ass cunt. All right, so now he's gonna run back around and pick up that green materia. That's gonna be a gravity materia, I guarantee it. If I'm right, he owes me lunch. He's gonna be buying me lunch when I'm correct, because I guarantee I'm correct. You want me to run? Because it seems like it's going to take him. Okay, he's going to attack all these enemies and waste our runtime. Because he's a dick. Okay. Yeah, okay, now he wants me to run. You know what? No, you're going to have to stick this one out. He wants me to run, but I asked, and he had his chance, but he ruined it. How come we're not using Death Blow now? He likes to brag about how amazing Death Blow is, but he doesn't, he just doesn't ever use it. What a bitch. He's gonna use Limit Break, which I would have saved, but I'm not the one playing, it's his game, not me, so who cares? Yeah, he probably should have saved the Limit Break, but he didn't think about the boss. Because he's a fucking idiot. 513 damage, because Cloud is totally a fair and balanced character that's also not broken as shit, and the cats are running around doing things doing things you're not supposed to. We got a new Limit Break, I didn't get to see what the name of it was, because I was, I was too busy looking at his cats doing things they weren't supposed to be doing. It's called Lunatic High. It's a new cloud. It's not, sorry, it's a new Red 13 limit break. My bad. Uh, yeah. Yep. So it's the gravity material. I was correct. Uh, I was correct. It's the it's the it's, it's the gravity material. Gravity material is actually a really good one, and uh, he'll equip it later. Uh, but for now, he has another he has another material that he didn't know he already had in the inventory called Added Effect. Uh, I I don't know what it does because he won't explain it. But uh, I'm sure it's really good. So uh, we're just going to move on here. And uh, he's going to snake across here. I'm not sure what all that stuff down there. It kind of looks like lava, but I guarantee it's not lava. If it's lava, they did a really piss poor job of animating it because it looks nothing. It kind of just looks like red water. All right, I'm going to run this time because he asked uh, nicely and uh, didn't be a dick about it. So Cloud got his limit break too, so it wasn't a total loss. Okay, Cloud might die. We might die here. We might die. Okay, never mind. We're good. Cloud got real damn close to dying there, though, so it's all good, though. It's all good. We got his limit break, so we can use that on the boss. But he's probably going to waste it on some basic bitch enemy, but whatever. So now that we're doing that, we're going to head back to the direction we came, because the only reason we went over there was to get that gravity material. And now that we're going to take this, we're going to take this right, we're going to take this right path over here. And then um, if you take the left path, there's uh, that's how you progress forward. Uh, if you head back over, if you head back to the right path, there's nothing over there for us. Uh, I can't seem to get in the center to look at that empty chest, which is weird. But if we take this path that leads underneath this um, bridge walkway, and we get into a battle real quick, so we're gonna have to skip out. We're just gonna okay. We're just gonna run from this battle then, because that's what he wants me to do. So we're just gonna run as uh, quickly as we can. Okay, triple attack. All right, cool. We're good. We made it away. All right, this one's gonna have uh, a black M phone, which is another weapon for uh, Kate Sith. We're not gonna equip it right now though, because Kate is not Kate Sith is not in the party, so it's not really worth our time to even bother trying to equip it right now. Uh, we got more enemies, which we're gonna be running from, and Cloud's probably gonna die. Um, but we'll see what happens. So we're just gonna let this uh, play on out. I feel like it'd be a lot easier just to use a summon and clear all them out and get a shit ton of EXP for it, but whatever. Oh, it uh, he wasn't able to get to it before because that uh, perspective is garbage because this game has really garbage perspective sometimes. It's a good game, but holy hell, they need to fix that problem. 
or I guess it's a little late to fix that problem, isn't it? But you're supposed to go underneath, um, underneath it, and then uh, we got back attacked. So we're going to run away real quick, and then uh, we're just gonna get away. Three, two, one. I'm trying. I I can't hold buttons any fat, dude. I'm still I'm still holding buttons, and it's not letting me run for some reason. I don't know why this. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're just gonna run forward. Uh, never mind. I guess we're gonna fucking adjust the inventory. So he's gonna use. High potion to heal up Red 13 because Red 13 we're needed it. Uh, we're about to get into a boss, so it's a good thing we kept Cloud's limit break. I really thought he was going to waste it, but holy shit, look at that. I guess a clock strikes uh, the correct time twice a day, though. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, move on up and go fight this boss. And before we go, I'm going to check to see what time we got. All right, I was fucking lied to. It's not the boss this time. He's a fucking liar. He doesn't know where to go because he's a fucking idiot, so he's going to take a random path, realize it's the wrong way, and then back up. Okay, so, so he's going to have to fight some enemies that he doesn't want to because he's scared. Uh, that looks like a daddy long legs. He won't tell me what the name of it, though, because he doesn't know how to press the left stick in. Um, he's about to use his uh, limit break and uh, <coughs> waste it. I really should stop. Uh, uh, you know. Anyway, okay, so the enemy is called a stinger. He used uh, Hellblaze on it. Hellfire, whatever the hell it's called. Meteor drop, that's what I would call it, but whatever. Reminds me of that uh, ultimate move you get in uh, Infamous Second Son, where the guy just leaps up really high in the sky and uses all of his ability to bolt down to the ground as fast as possible and just boom, fucking earthquakes the entire goddamn place. It's called Meteor Drop. It's a really dope ability. Not the game we're playing right now, though. He almost killed Tifa in one move. Tifa might have to use her limit break just to be able to live. No, no, no. Uh, but it looks like someone's about to get off. Tifa's at 25 health, and uh, that does not looking too good. Hopefully that would kill the spider. It did not. Ice 2, keep your fingers crossed. It might kill it, and it did not. No! Oh, Tifa lived with 7 fucking health by some goddamn yeah. miracle. I don't know how the fuck... I don't know how the fuck Tifa's alive right now, but we made it some, some ungodly way. It was incredible. I don't know how the hell we managed to pull that off. So he's uh, finishing healing up everybody right now, and then we're going to progress on forward. There's a chest over there. We might have time to get it. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it in time before uh, the episode runs out, though. And uh, this will lead us back down to this other chest down here, which has a fairy ring in it. I read up on that. Uh, I read that it was a thing you can get in this dungeon. I don't know if it's any good or what it does. It, pro it, pro it, protects, against, it protects against darkness and poison, which is a really good... Um, Really good, I guess. It's probably better than just the ones that protect against darkness and the ones that protect against poison. <laughs> so there's another enemy. Uh, where we're going to run from these ones, though, because he's too scared to fight enemies because he's a little bitch. So now that we run from all of them, we're going to go ahead and progress on forward here. And then we're going to snake our way through the back to the path we just came from, and then we're going to head to the left. And then uh, up on the left is how we're going to progress uh, uh, forward. Uh, and then turning back around, once we've seen that, that I was fucking wrong, we're going to go fight another spider over here. And uh, this one will be just as hard as the last one. Tifa probably will die. Uh, or at least somebody. I'm betting will. So we're going to waste all of our summons to make sure we kill this guy as quickly as possible. Um, and so now that that's going on. Cloud took it. Uh, we don't have any ethers apparently. And so um, I think he just got super scared. And is probably going to go ball up in a corner and cry. Uh, and if that's what he's going to do, then ha ha. Then ha, then ha ha, he earned it. That's all his fault. Um, we're probably going to kill him before he even gets a chance to attack us, though. Or he already attacked us the one time, but he probably won't get a chance to attack us again. Because uh, the damage the damage of summons is just so ridiculously high uh, that it was not even worth even mentioning that it would even be a fight. These enemies are supposed to be hard, but then fucking Ifri just comes and meteor drops on everybody and just wins. Use a sting bomb. Red 13 got real damn close to dying there, but I think Judgment Bolt's probably going to take him out just in case he's going to use Cure 2 uh, to heal just in case it, uh, it would even matter, but I don't think it's going to because I'm pretty sure uh, Lightning God is about to just kill this guy anyways. I still am amazed he managed to pull off a second attack, though. I can't believe that really happened. I really thought he'd just get away or we'd get away with killing him, but if that doesn't kill him, then holy hell, we are the unluckiest motherfucker. Sorry, he is the unluckiest motherfucker I think I've ever seen play a Final Fantasy game in my entire life. So he managed to use Cure 2 on everybody by some miracle. Uh, didn't even fully clear, fully heal Cloud, because that's just how high his HP is right now. We use Ice 2, and it managed to kill him. I can't believe three summons didn't fucking do it, but whatever. 
fuck me, I guess. I really thought I'd be able to pull it off. Uh, Tifa, Tifa, got, Tifa got a level up. Uh, he's not going to bother getting the rest of the other items because they're not that good, I think, so we're not going to waste our time. Uh, he still has to find uh, another materia in here. I'm not sure where it's at, but um, uh, it's a materia we're definitely going to have to get. I forget what the name of it is. It's probably not as good as the gravity materia you've already picked up. <laughs> So we're going to adjust our inventory here. He thought we didn't have any ethers, but it turns out we have three, so he's fucking wrong. He's a fucking wrong about everything. He's a fucking liar. We get into a nice attack, but we're going to run to make sure we conserve as much uh, much MP as we can before we get into the next battle. He's just going to spam death sentence, which doesn't do anything, because we're going to run before it even does has a chance to do anything. It didn't even see a number up here. So here we go. It's boss time, bitches. Let's do this. So he's going to weird face in the... I don't know what this thing is, but... Uh, it looks like yeah, it looks like that. a it looks like a thing that's gonna fucking kill us multiple times over. So this will be really fun. I swear to God that lava just looks like boiling oh, blood. Yeah. It does not look like lava. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and fight the boss now. This is the boss. His name is John. John's not a very cool guy. He's a kind of a dick. So we're gonna spam all of our uh, we're gonna spam we're gonna spam all of our limit breaks immediately. He's gonna use a new limit break, uh, lunatic. High, which I don't know what it does, but it, I assume it's a thing that does a thing. Uh, so anyways, he doesn't know what it did either because he's an idiot. Klim Hazard, we're going to use on uh, this enemy here. Hop on up, and it does way don't, more don't, fucking damage than I thought it was going to. Holy the, uh, the shit. That was a lot yeah, of damage. Okay, so apparently he's complaining about the three, the two, the two uh, red wisps that are around. Those are the first things you want to attack. If you don't, if you don't attack those things, they're going to kill you all immediately. So, those are the first things you're going to want to take out. They're weak to fire, so make sure you spam fire on them. Uh, he's going to try and spam all of our uh, summons to see if we're going to be able to win. He's not confident we're going to win this battle, but I'm not confident he wins any battle because he sucks at this game. So make sure you use fire because they're weak to fire. Fire will one-shot them immediately. So we're going to uh, spam all of our summons and really pray that this is going to work out. And uh, it looks like it might. Oh, it missed. I don't think dropping an entire slag of rock on somebody could ever fucking miss, but whatever. So uh, he used a judgment bolt. So we're going to see. We're going to... <laughs> so he basically just wasted a limit break there. He should just, or a uh, summon. He probably should have switched to the. He probably should just. Probably should just. <laughs> switch to the chocobo materia or the shiva material. Probably would have been even better. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Probably would have been a really good uh, material to bring into this fight. So uh, he's dying because he didn't take out the fire guys first like he was supposed to. So he's gonna try and use. He's gonna try and use. <sighs> He's going to try and use another attack here to see what's going to pull off. I didn't see what he clicked on, though, because he clicked it way too fast. Ice 2, it might do something. Uh, I'd use Quake if I was him. And that's the point, is to use Quake, because they're all weak to Quake. He missed. Uh, he's going to use a move there. I didn't see what he did, because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, he's going to use Ice 2 on, on, on the fire guy, which is what he should have done. Um... And so next after that, uh, fire guy keeps healing himself, but I don't think it matters because it doesn't really seem like he has that much uh, HP to even do. So he used Takeover, which is probably going to kill Red 13, which is who I'm guessing it targeted. It uh, targeted T5, I was wrong. Uh, I don't know what it did, but uh, we use Ice 2, and uh, it does pretty decent damage, not bad, for Tifa's level. I mean, Tifa's really not nearly as strong as everybody else. Uh, using Cure 2 to fully heal up Cloud here, and then we're going to use Magic to Ice 2 and see how much damage we can pull off with that. Apparently, that other enemy just possessed Tifa. I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, he's going to use Death Blow this time because I think it might actually do something. Never mind, he's going to fucking ignore me because fuck me, I guess. So, uh, we're going to take damage over time now, every single time now that we got possessed by Weird Fire thing. He's going to use Bio, and that's probably going to poison him. It did nothing. So, well, what a waste of a turn. Ice 2, and see what that's going to do. That's going to deal, I don't know, 400 damage. I was decently close. Bolt 2, so we're going to use that, and it's going to deal 436 damage. Not bad, not bad. So now he's going to uh, use his normal attack. He's going he's gonna to use an, he's gonna use their normal attack here just to waste time. And he's going to use Death Blow to see if it works out. He doesn't... Can't you? He doesn't. He doesn't know have enough uh, MP to use any of his enemy skills because it's way super drained. So we're gonna haul and heal up everybody real quick, and then he's gonna use an ether to heal back Cloud's MP. At least he fucking better. 
Uh, never mind, Cloud got his limit breaks. That's what he's gonna end up doing. Um, guy landed the perfect limit break on Tifa. He's gonna use the limit break. He's gonna use the limit break because he's not an idiot. He's gonna use the limit break. Never mind, he's a fucking idiot. So he's gonna use Big Guard instead. What a fucking idiot. We're gonna lose this. Uh, we're gonna lose this battle easily because he won't, you know, use limit break or uh, or uh, death blow every single time we suggest it. Because I think his favorite thing to do is just ignore me. So he's got. Uh, he's so fucking close to dead. Wow. Uh, not even a point even wasting a limit break. Honestly, just save it for somebody else. It's also a waste of a big guard. But I told him that he didn't want to listen to me because fuck me, I guess. So he's gonna use sled fang on the enemy to see if uh, it will kill it. That'd be fucking miracle if it didn't. It's going to use Fire 2 on itself to uh, do some serious damage to himself. And then uh, Sled Fang, he's probably going to knock it out one turn. Idiot probably should just equip the gravity material. This whole fucking fight would have been so much easier, but whatever. But whatever. He got it earlier, but he just likes to pretend that he didn't. So uh, that was pretty much the whole fight there. So we're going to get some experience. Red 13 leveled up. That's pretty cool. We got the Wiser Staff or Wizard Staff. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. That right there is the uh, Access Assess Element Material or something like that. I can't remember the name of it. But uh, we'll get uh, whenever we pick it up. Whenever we pick it up, uh, we'll see what it is. It, about it's uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and pick up the materia that he doesn't want to fucking pick up. Took fucking long enough. It's a summer materia. It's the Bahama materia. That's how you get it. It's a really good summer materia. So now we're gonna have to end up the episode here because we're running out of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed. What? Well, hold on. We actually checked the runtime here. We actually got. Uh, oh yeah, we're at 31 minutes, but we're gonna wait until we get to the end of the uh, end of the. Uh, <laughs> We're going to wait until we get to the end of the, uh, end of the dungeon. We're going to save off and we're going to quit. And then that will be the end of it. So we got a little more backstory to go. More uh, Red 13 stuff. So uh, it's important, I guess, kind of, sort of. This is dot, dot, dot. We don't know what it is yet because he hasn't said anything. So uh, the warrior fought against the gi, the guy, the gi, uh, something. I don't fucking know. Um, uh, so they were going to I do some steps in the canyon. I don't know. I can't really read that fast. So we're, right we're just gonna progress on forward here and then uh old man's gonna come up here and give us some exposition so that's nice he's never able to return to town i i don't know the definitively but based on context clues i had to imagine this is his dad yep uh so this is his uh gravestone i'm guessing uh maybe yep he turned to stone somehow he looks badass as fuck damn he? Yeah, he looks pretty fucking badass. He's been impaled by many things. It looks like he did not have a fun death. So his name is Seto. We're going to call him uh, Red One, though, because I can't think of a better name. <laughs> so uh, Gi's poisonous arrows turned his body all in up into stone, which uh, sucks. So I have to imagine that um, I, I have to imagine that Spot Remover probably wouldn't get rid of that now. So... Uh, you thought he was just a coward. Red 13 always thought his dad was a coward who ran away, but he actually ended up giving his own life to marriage to protect everybody from you getting just getting getting, getting completely fucked over. So uh, his father really was kind of a pussy bitch for dying, but whatever. That's my own opinion. I don't have very good opinions. You guys should never listen to me, except for when it comes to the fact that uh, <laughs> Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is not that good of a game. So uh, uh, old guy asked uh, us to leave Cloud or to, uh, for Cloud and everybody else to leave uh, uh, to leave Red Thirteen and uh, old guy alone so they can the guy. have a nice stare okay. have a nice stare at each other for a while. So he wants us to continue. He wants uh, Red Thirteen to continue on his journey, even though Red Thirteen doesn't think he should. But uh, he managed to convince him that he's going to because I guess saving the planet is more important than just the stupid little canyon that your dumbass dad died in. So. That's that's I, I probably I'm really bad. Okay. Um, uh, if they stop every reactor on the planet, uh, it's only gonna postpone the inevitable because I guess the planet's gonna die eventually. It's just kind of true. So, uh, Sephiroth wants to make it happen sooner because he's a fucking dick. But whatever. We'll get there when we get there. Trust me, he's gonna die a very slow and painful death, twice. But you guys gotta watch a movie. This is the second time. I'm wasting time now. So the point is exposition world's gonna die it doesn't matter what you do it's gonna happen eventually but we'll be able to uh 
we'll be able to make it on later or something. I don't know. I guess he's 130 years old. I don't really know what the hell I'm saying anymore. I kind of lost my mind once I realized that we are way over the runtime, but we don't have a good place to stop yet. So we're, so we're just going to have to keep blasting our way through all this stupid exposition bullcrap. Basically, the world's going to end. We don't want it to end. Red 13 is going to go with us to make sure we don't have it end. That's really all you need to know. There's literally nothing else about this that matters. So, uh, that that's pretty much it. Um, okay, so Seto is going to live up there and leave his peaceful death, die in a warrior. Um, and uh, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. For the love of God, please, please take longer. He's dropping materia. That's nice. We don't get to pick it up, though, because cause they won't let us. So I think his dad's crying out of his statue body that Spot Remover will not get rid of. So as, uh, as he's sitting up there crying his final tears for his son, it doesn't matter because he can't save the world anymore. He just gets to live his life peacefully on top of this mountain. Peaceful. <laughs> This is pretty fucking peaceful to me. Honestly, the peacefulness kind of gets ruined when your son comes over here to complain about some shit. But whatever. I'm really not a good person. <laughs> so now that we're almost... Uh, uh, once we get a chance to move, we're going to end off the episode because we're really running low on time. Uh, okay, yeah, we're going to end right here, right on this text box. So I hope you guys enjoy watching us. See you guys next time.